got my calm in the chaos My peace in the war You speak light into darkness You tell me I'm yours Only you, Jesus, are in control You are my every heartbeat Every breath that I breathe You're all I need I'm making soup. I'm in. All right. Can you grab a pot? Yeah. Hello, everyone. That's Brandon. And that's John. And this is The So-and-So Show. What an unnecessarily confusing way to begin the show. No, oh, I don't know. I thought it was as exactly as confusing as it was supposed to be. Uh, what are we doing on the show today, John? Oh, buddy, are you ready? Oh, I'm re what? For what? Are you ready to consider a rumble? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we've got a guest today that's going to knock your socks so far off. They're going to travel around the world and end up on your hands. That's right, your socks are going to become gloves now. Oh, that's quite a guest. It is. Today, we've got a wrestler on the show. He's the Great Lakes International Heavyweight Champion. He's the current reigning Duke of Dubuque. But maybe more important than all that, today he's someone who knows stuff! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Come on in. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you! <laughs> oh! oh. Hello, sir. Oh. Um, uh, tell everyone who you are yeah. and uh, what you know. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Whoa, hey. My name is Hayden the Vaporizer, and I'm a professional wrestler. Oh. oh, cool. How'd you get that name? My mom had an uncle named Hayden, and she named me after him. 
No, I mean, I mean uh, the vaporizer part. Because I vaporize my opponents! All oh, right. Uh, Mr. The Vaporizer, uh, it is a tremendous honor to have you here. And I just, I have so many questions that I want to ask you. So, so first of all, your finishing move is called the Mars Rover. Now, why is that? Because I send people to outer space and leave them there. Oh, <sighs> oh of course. <laughs> it makes total sense. Okay, question number two. Of all your opponents... Who do you think is your number one nemesis? It would have to be the heartthrob, Zack Slater. Ooh. He gets on my last nerve. Okay, um, stay there, chicken. Third question: What do you like to do when you're not wrestling? Floral arrangement. Oh, oh yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd be in floral arrangement. Oh yeah. Ever since I read Eileen Johnson's breakthrough book, The Art of Floral Arranging. I've been a floral arrangement maniac! Uh -huh. um, you'll forgive us, Hayden, if we're a little surprised. It just doesn't seem like dealing with, with flowers is a good match oh, for a why? guy like you. I, I got... Is it because I'm big? Yeah. Strong? Is it because I crush the opposition into the very vapor I breathe for power? Well, yeah, all of those things. You know... I spend all day throwing people around in the squared circle. I have to be strong. Mm -hmm. So when I'm on my own time, I like to be gentle. Gentle? You, <laughs> Hayden the Vaporizer, the guy that threw Teddy Rich off at the top of the cage. Yeah, pal. I spend a lot more time thinking about flowers mm -hmm. than I do wrestling. In fact, Hold on here for a second. Okay. Did you shake his hand? I know. It hurt. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Check it out, brother. Mm. Asiatic lilies, yellow snapdragons, hot pink carnations, and purple statis tastefully arranged in an artesian vase. Oh. I call this Tuscan Sunset. Smell it, fellas! Oh, good stuff, huh? Oh, oh that's great. Huh. It makes me feel calm just smelling it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing spruces up a place like fresh flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Can we keep this? No! Okay. I'm sending this to Max von Mean. Oh. oh. I'm taking him on next weekend. And you know, you gotta do something nice for someone before you bludgeon them beyond all recognition. And Max! If you're watching this now, I'll see you this Sunday at the Sportatorium, and you will be vaporized. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's a fresh bouquet. All right. Wow, Hayden, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got to see the you on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> glad I could show it off. Yeah. You know, I think strong people can be gentle. I think strong people should be the most gentle. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a greater responsibility to do so. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Cool, Mr. The Vaporizer. A deep thoughts from a strong man. You got that right! Oh. Okay. Thank you. Wow. That did not go the way I thought it would go. <laughs> I know. I'm glad it didn't. I yeah. mean, what would we have learned if he was just what we expected him to be? I don't know. He could have taught us how to talk like a wrestler. Well, anyone can do that. No. Can you? Yeah, of course. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Wow. Can I get some water? Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen, I hope you've got a killer Bible story for us today. That's right. We're ready to have our worlds rocked. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Today's story comes from the book of Mark. It's a short story that can sometimes be overlooked about people who can sometimes be overlooked. Check out Laundry Theater. <laughs> As Jesus traveled around teaching and healing, he became more and more popular. Crowds of people followed Jesus to see what he would say and do. 
People had heard stories of Jesus' power. He could give sight to people who couldn't see. He could make people walk. He was strong enough to calm a storm. People knew Jesus was important. Some people brought their children to see Jesus so that he could bless them. But even though meeting Jesus was important, it wasn't always easy. On one occasion, when parents were bringing their children to see Jesus, they were stopped in their tracks by the disciples. The disciples thought Jesus was too busy. He had people to heal and a message to spread. He didn't have time to deal with kids, right? But wait, Jesus had time after all. He got angry with the disciples for keeping the children away. He said, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. God's kingdom belongs to people like them. So the disciples did what Jesus said. They let the little children come. Jesus blessed the children as they came to him. He held them in his arms. Maybe the disciples got in on the fun too. We don't know for sure how long Jesus spent with the children, but we do know that the all-knowing, all-powerful, incredibly strong Son of God took time to be gentle and took time to show the little kids that they were loved. The end. Jesus said to his disciples, what I'm about to tell you is true. Anyone who will not receive God's kingdom like a little child will never enter it. That's how important children are to Jesus. He said that even grown-ups should come to God like little children, full of fun and wonder and with a trust that all their needs would be met. Everyone is valuable to God, no matter how small or how overlooked. Did that rock your world, fellas? It did. Hey, we're learning a lot about gentleness today, Kellen. I love how Jesus took the time to be gentle. Yeah, even though we usually talk about how strong he is. Being strong doesn't mean you can't also be gentle. Sometimes I think it takes strength to be gentle. When you get all angry or you get really passionate about something, your first instinct might be to get all gruff and tough. But if you choose to be gentle, you can calm situations down. You can save relationships. You can make an amazing flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thanks for the story, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Man, what a great show. I agree. Yeah. Reveal! No, no, no. Shh! Did you not listen to the entire show, man? Oh. Just be gentle. Oh, oh yeah, gentle. yeah, you're right. Let me try again. Let me try. <clears throat> Reveal the question. Today's question is, why is it sometimes hard to be gentle? I think it's hard to be gentle when someone says something that makes me mad or hurts my feelings. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's hard for me when I get impatient. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like when I'm trying to help my dad understand how to use his phone and he just doesn't get it. You, you have to turn the phone around, Dad. This is a video call. No, you don't put it to your ear. I'm looking right down your ear canal, Dad. I can't. Yeah, so uh, gentleness can be hard. So you'll need to rely on God and the Holy Spirit to help you. Yes. After all, it takes strength to be gentle. Yes. Are you okay? Yes, I am good. I'm fine. I'm gentle. I'm Me gentle. too. Uh -huh. <sighs> Until next week, that's John. And I'm not Brandon. <laughs> and this was the So and So <laughs> Show. Stay, Stay gentle, gentle, everyone. That is fluffy broccoli. Not a lily. What, do you, what would you Those call it? Those are that? yellow daffodils. Oh, brother. man. Oh, I thought there was a back scratcher. But I'm doing. Oh, oh you're easy, easy, easy. If you break this, I will break you. No. Oh. I'm going to put this one in like a. Yeah. Like that. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Don't ever do that to a flower, bro. I'm the king of floral arrangements. Yeah. What did you say? Uh -oh. I said, Vaporizer is the king of floral arrangement! Yeah, that's right, Phyllis. Now you're catching on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>